Welcome back to Blar. We have Quest Kids Matching Adventure here. I'm going to do a quick how to play and kind of unboxing. I already unboxed it, so all the components are apart. Well, most of them, because I tried to figure out how to play. Did a video, didn't turn out great. So we'll do a, another one here. Matching Adventure, one to six players by Treasure Trolls Games. It's the back. Going to have some heroes, some bad guys, some allies. All right, and some gold we want to get. Very nice components on this one. Also, this nice box that doesn't hold everything, but <laughs> it's really for uh, the gold. So treasure chest for the gold. Lots of tiles. Getting very well made. Dirty cardboard. So we have everything ready for the easy mode. So there's three things to play. You have shortest, easiest, longer, and the hardest mode. And it shows you how to set up each one. Very short instructions, being a matching game. Uh, it's just a twist, a twist on match. But I think it's well done. So the other bad guys that we're not going to use is going to be the bears and the snakes. We're going to be using the other bad guys for the short mode. We're going to gather your heroes first, which are in the treehouse and their allies. So we're going to separate greens and blues, adventure tiles. And for the short setup, you're going to three, three sets, pick three sets of bad guys. So we have dragons, trolls, and pirates. That's what we're going to be battling in this adventure. So all green together, blues together. Because it does ask you to set it up a certain way. I'm not sure if it matters too much. Being a memory game. So there's your components, treehouse tiles, which are here. These are your heroes and allies. Put this aside. So your heroes kind of just gold metallic back and your allies will not we'll have, each have a star rating so we're going to shuffle those up make a grid so four rows of five So you do need a little bit of table space for this because the adventure tiles go around the treehouse. Water on the bottom, a river. So each bad guy has one forest and one river tile. And these three go back here. Kind of out of camera range, but they're back there. So that's your board setup for the easy mode. So your turn, you're going to recruit heroes. So the first goal of all players is to recruit a quest kit hero from the treehouse, which is the middle area. All right. <clears throat> to recruit a hero, turn over any two treehouse tiles on your turn so all players can see them. If it's a match, take the hero tiles, put them in front of you. If they are not a match, flip the tiles back over exactly where they were. Players do not take another turn if they find a matching pair. So like a match, you get to go again. So you find matching heroes, you just get the hero, your turn is over. All players must have at least one quest kit hero before you can attempt to recruit a second hero. So it doesn't let you like run away leader. So if you get a hero and you're playing with someone else, these just kind of keep going until they get a hero. That way it makes it more fair. 
because heroes do come into play as like how you score points so you, you can't get one person get a bunch of heroes all right so once you do that you can go on the adventure so first thing on your turn you're like you're gonna try to get heroes so you're like oh, okay i'll flip this here <clears throat> let's crash like a wizard and then you try to find another one noah and then you would flip them back down so we just want to find a hero though so <laughs> let's just try that we're gonna leave them up and then i'm gonna try to find a find one really quick so we can continue on how the game plays so these are allies allies have special powers so it says redraw one treasure token so that comes into play so redraw would be like some of the treasure tokens have different heroes on them so you have the hero and you get that treasure and you'll get more points but you need to get two of these and they'll go in front of you as well and this is a once per game power all right again these will all be face down but we're just trying to find a hero i should have just grabbed a hero <laughs> um of course we're not going to find one right really all right so we got noah so noah's here these of course would all be face down So the other person would go, he would get a hero. But we'll just run through as the one player. So we have this now. We have the three stars and the no star hero. You go in front of you. So that is one of your heroes. So now that we have that, going on an adventure. After you recruited a hero, you can now try to scare away matching bad guys on your turn. A player cannot go on an adventure until they have recruited at least one quest kit hero. So you can't go with allies. You have to have a hero. All right. Each bad guy has one forest adventure tile and one river adventure tile. Therefore, you must search both the forest and the river to make a match. When you go on your adventure, you turn over any three adventure tiles of your choice so all players can see. So you get to turn over three. If you find a match, take the two tiles and place them in front of you. Then turn the third tile back over face down exactly where it was. If you do not find a match, turn all three back down exactly where they were. Players do not take another turn if you find a matching pair. However, a player who finds a matching pair after turning over two tiles must still turn over their third tile. So you turn over two to get a match. You still have to turn over the third tile so everyone can see it. Collecting a treasure. All right. <clears throat> Let's go on an adventure. So we have Noah. So we can go on an adventure or we can try to recruit more heroes. Uh, we're going to go on an adventure. So here's Tiny Ogre. So that is a forest tile. So we're going to go to the river tiles and we got a match now just because we got the match we still have to turn over another adventure tile so now everyone knows cinder and ash are here so we do get this and you see this has nothing on it this has two gold coins on it which is collecting treasure when you go on an adventure find a pair of matching bad guys you will earn treasure tokens Okay. <clears throat> Each matching pair of bad guys has either one or two treasure tokens on the tile. Take one treasure token for each treasure token icon on the bad guy tile. So Tiny gets us two. So chest here. So these are really in a pile face down. You would not see any of these. I just left them in here because it's easier. So two tokens. We'll grab this one and this one. So flip them over. Oh, and I forgot. Sorry. At the beginning of the easy game, you take out all the lamps. So you will not get a lamp. And you take out all the lamps and additional six gold coins. All right. So here we go. So we have some gems here. We got a green and a red. Now, on the bottom here, so you get two stars off the bat. But if you have one of the heroes on the bottom that match... So if Noah was one of these heroes on the bottom, you would get this score instead. So we do not have these heroes. So they're kind of hard to see. They're very small. But I can tell they are not Noah. So we do not get the bonus. We only get the four stars. So that goes to your score pile. Keep that by you. And then that's it. So treasure tokens have two different values. Just went over that. Uh, your allies I explained you can grab them from here they go into your your group and you can use their power once 
per game. So winning, once all the treasure treehouse, once all the treehouse tiles and adventure tiles have been matched, the game is over. You should then count how many stars you have collected during your adventure. Player with the most stars wins. So you just keep going until everyone has been defeated. All the monsters have been scared away. So these guys all go away. And then you have, you say, there's choice if you want to keep recruiting heroes, which I think is a good di good idea to probably at least get two. I haven't like played against anybody, so I don't know. I would think you don't want to just get one hero because you're going to lose out on a lot of the bonuses. So very cool. I like the way this art looks. It's very fitting for this game. Like I said, good components, easy instructions. Uh, I would say quick setup, and it, it is just, you know, with matching tiles, you can move around. And uh, that is it. Very short instructions. He did a good job of making the basic matching game more fun. Especially, I think these allies would be a lot of fun when you're playing more competitively. If you have everything out, if you have all these tiles out in a bigger player game. So you have, I think it says one to six. So if you do manage to get six people to play, you definitely want to play the longer game because it's going to be going quicker. And it's cool that you flip a third tile so it speeds up the game even more. So that is the Quest Kids Matching Adventure Game by Treasure Trolls. Seems pretty cool. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.